Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to this new video. Um, yeah, I was not planning this at first, so this might be a bit weird because I also, this is, this is like something that I don't do very often, like speak without even thinking about what to say. But today the new balance was announced and this balance is actually effective starting in uh, April 11. So that is basically in three days, that's what I just read there. So, um, we're right, ju we're jumping right into it, and I don't know a thing about what, uh, actually is in effect right now. And bear with me, this is the first recording, and I will jump through it from this point on. I will not edit or re-record at any pace, I will see the through. Alright. Okay, look at the forbidden cards. We've got the three cards which got adjusted anyways. And we have Chicken Game! Alright, Chicken Game is interesting. Uh, I think it's somewhat appropriate, but... I gotta say, if Chicken Game gets like a hit, then I would actually not be surprised if Upstart Goblin was also hit. I think that Chicken Game w was kind of problematic for Konami because of the mechanic that I don't take damage when um, I have less life points, so I could uh, just benefit from Trick Clown without getting damage as long as I have less LP as the opponent. Also it was a pretty good speed card and made up some new Exodia FTK decks which were not like wanted. Alright, and Wavering Eyes. This is actually sad. This is very very sad for me because I play Wavering Eyes in my main deck on uh, Death Bots. Uh, I'm, I'm very... Um, Relieved to see that the list is in effect on the 11th because I am not sure whether I play um, Despots or Teller Knights on the on a tournament tomorrow. So oh my god, <laughs> this is actually whoa! I wasn't expecting it, but I see the problems with the card. I really see the problems with the card because if it's in a mirror match and you just go with Wavering Eyes, like a Pendulum mirror match, not a deck mirror match, then you basically won the entire duel, and that is very stupid that you can win a duo with a single card. So I can definitely understand that. Alright. To the limited, we've got Luster Pendulum and Draco Slayer, which was to expect because, well, TCG adjustment. Monkey Board, yeah. Sky Crobat, yeah. Wisdom Eye Magician is new, I guess. And, well, I kinda agree. I don't think that it was a great problem with OEM, but... Never mind, I never had any problems with playing OEM because, well, I play Despots. <laughs> well, well, this is a speed card, so it's... Yeah, it's alright. Elder Entity Norton? And I see something else, like I'm a Brink Bear, which is really cool. But Norton to 1. Well, you can do it. It kind of um, makes um, creative deck building a bit harder. But, well, who runs more than one Norton anyways in a real deck? Because running just three instant fusions and three Norton in every deck, well, I don't play more than one Norton in any deck, so I don't actually care about that. But I don't see the need to uh, hit it so hard. Uh, to use it so much, not to hit it so hard. I see the need to hit it, but I don't see the... Uh, need to use it so much that you have to use more than one in the deck. But, well, this is up to the deck builders themselves, so this is not my point. So, an other entity Norton to one was somehow to be expecting, because Norton is a power card. Thousand Ice Restrict. Oh boy, oh my god, old friend, you are back and we never, no one ever expected Thousand Ice Restrict to come back. And now, it is here. It is finally back, and we can now think about some Thousand Ice Restrict decks, and I'm really looking forward to what the community can do with it card. Well, we will, as we YTDC see something, or in any way, will do something with the card. I don't actually expect us to do something with the card, but I would look forward to it, because, well, maybe we decide to play it in one deck, and make it somehow broken, like, that's the point of YTDC, right? And well, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, let's let's just stand with that. Then Ignis the prominence with blasting Draco Slayer, obvious, basically obvious. I don't run more than one of my Despot decks, so pff, I don't care. 
Draco face off, somewhat obvious, maybe a bit too much because Luster is at one as well, so uh, reasoning to one. Hmm. This is actually quite nice to see because, well, uh, reasoning was used a lot in Infernoid decks, so this is a hit to Infernoid as well. I don't actually know if reasoning was used in any other meta decks, though, because I am not too much into the meta. <laughs> I just play Despots and run over everything I see, right? And yeah, the reasoning is just cool, I guess. I don't actually care. Yes! Yes! In my opinion, the stupidest car in the entire game, and it's finally. Finally, those people who just copy everything from others are now hit in the head. Upstart Goblin finally to one. I was waiting so long for that. Well, I don't have a problem with Upstart Goblin as a part in general. I don't think it's broken or something. I just think it's bad because, well, come on. This is not a trade. It's not, a, in my opinion, this is purely my opinion, okay? It is not a trade to have a... 37 card deck, but the opponent having technically 11,000 LP from the start. This is not a trade to me. Really. And I'm playing Despot, who can definitely go over that 11,000 in an instant. And I still don't want to play such cards, because this doesn't feel good. That doesn't really feel good. In the end, you're missing some of those 3,000 LP for the game. So, why? Why even bother? Well, this makes uh, Arrow Mage matchup even worse because Arrow Mage were like laughing at Upstart Goblin being played by the opponent. But, well, I am happy that Upstart Golem is gone because now those uh, copy passed up boys have to actually think about some more cards to put in their deck. Because Chicken Game and Upstart Golem are finally gone, and I'm really, really happy that it is the case. Alright, that was the last limited card, so we're going to the semi limited. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Debris Dragon, that is some love for Dragon Unity and Super Pro players. This is nice, I like to see this. I really like to see this. Yeah, this is cool, this is cool. Uh, Allure of Darkness. Okay, now that Upstart Golem is gone, another. Uh, speed card going up. This is what I would actually see in TCG DDD because in OCG DDD I don't play it. Like, come on, I, I don't want to manage everything so uh But in TCG D3 I can actually imagine this that being played and I've actually got a friend who plays TCG D3 so it's alright. I'm happy for him that he can get a second Allure of Darkness and maybe I can get a second Allure of Darkness for my Chaos Dragon real life deck as well. Let's see into the future. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Alright, let's go further. e -tealer. Well, this is a hit to Cosmo right there and a little hit to Super Quantum as well. So I've gotta think now how I make my Zect Quantum deck in real life, but well, I don't have too much of it. I just throw in some random cards. Like, come on. <laughs> well, I have great Magnus already, so I will probably build that deck, but yeah, Emergency Teleport was like interesting. And to this point, what I was missing is like this is all the restrictions. Everything which comes now, like that looks like a um, bracket being closed. Um, what I was missing is some kind of Monarch hit because they hit like every meta deck they hit OEM pretty hard, they hit Pepe in every single way, way they could hit him effectively they pretty much killed off the two big pendulum things they hit Cosmo with Emergency Teleport which was a rather small hit but I don't think a big one was required anyways they hit some um, chicken game and stuff decks, but there was no real hit to Monarch, so either they came to the conclusion that Monarch is way too bricky, that is the case actually, and they want the, they want the community to 
find a way around Monarchs, which is especially with Despots really easy. Yeah, I know I talk a lot about Despots, but I'm a Despot player. And I see that they will not hit Monarchs in quite a while because they actually experience Monarchs being kind of um, bricky anyway. So they have strengths and weaknesses. The only thing I would have actually hit could have been tenacity because I think that a um, uh, how is it called a direct search is way better than a search which which can be disrupted or uh, changed. Like with Pandeity, if you just can search two tenacities, you will most likely take the tenacity target as the third card. But you don't let the enemy thin his deck out a bit more, so he still has one more card in the deck which he might want to draw or might not want to draw or whatever and I think that is better than hitting like Pandeity but this is a personal opinion and this is up to debate I am a bit strange in thinking in that way so um, yeah hit me if you wanna um, but well nothing to Monarchs is quite strange in my opinion but I don't mind. As you might know, I am supposed to do a Barrier Monarch deck and it is coming this week and hopefully I am working on it really hard. And no hits on Monarch, of course, help with it. <laughs> I was actually scared Pandeity and Dominion got to 1 because I can deal with Dominion to 1 but I cannot deal with Pandeity to 1 so I am happy. I am happy. So now for the unlimited thing. Dark Magician of Chaos! Oh, Demog. I bet that's the Errata thing, so I'm pretty much interested in how it turned out. Tragodia. That was long overdue. Advanced Ritual R. You can do that. There are not many Advanced Ritual R decks out there. In fact, I was predicting that for like two years. Crush Card Virus. Also to be expected. Yeah, very to be expected. Alright, and that is it actually. So, this is the new banlist. I'm pretty much. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm pretty much liking it. So, a lot of Pepe hits, a lot of OE. Uh, some OEM hits. They, they hit the mo most important stuff, I guess. They didn't hit Monarchs, but as I said, I don't care. <laughs> I am countering Monarchs anyway, so I don't care. I think the most important things were done, they took the TCG adjustment changes and um, actually placed them also in the final list, which was to, to expect. And they got some new aspects in it which are quite interesting, so I am pretty much, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with this, with this band list, as a non-meta player. Yeah. I can deal with that, I can deal with that, I, I feel it, I feel it. Alright guys, but this was my video for today, I hope you actually were able to enjoy it, my random rambling about those cards, and well, let's see you guys in some days when the Barrier Monarch thing is actually being released, hopefully I will work my ass off this weekend, okay, I will work my ass off to get you this Monarch Barrier video out, so I hope you will enjoy it. And I hope you did enjoy this thoughts on the ban list, which are, these are just blind thoughts, like, I didn't know what was on the list. I was, like, really thinking during it. I haven't thought a bit about what is, what's going on. These were, like, spontaneous things, and I don't know if I want to do more spontaneous things like this, because, well, it's pretty hard to do spontaneous things if you're not speaking the language you're used to which is English because I am German but well let's see what you guys think leave your thoughts in the comments if you want this has been Actrius and yeah stay raven